If you had a million dollars to blow right now, I wouldn't suggest doing this, but you could take that million dollars, turn it into some sort of cryptocurrency, give it to Peter Thiel to make this number go up. And Peter Thiel will just make this number go up because you gave him all your crypto that he's going to turn into cash. He's going to turn into real money. Crypto betting site backed by Peter Thiel faces accusations it's being exploited to fake support for Trump. Somebody's placing big bets on Trump. So if you've been paying attention to the polls and the news and stuff like that, everybody's going nuts everywhere for all the reasons. Half of the stories I read about how Kamala's just got the biggest lead ever. The other half of the stories I read are about how Trump's got the biggest lead ever. The uh, people on the right are telling me that Trump's definitely going to win. The people on the left are telling me Kamala's definitely going to win. Everybody's telling me everything everywhere all the time. And then there's some people telling me that it's going to be the closest race ever. And there's there's nothing we can do about it. And we're never, not even going to know on uh, on the evening of the election that who is d doing what and who's winning and who's losing. Nobody's going to know anything ever. It's a bit of a mess. <laughs> it's a little bit of a horse race right now. And I think that's intentional. I think that this guy, Peter Thiel, who should not be trusted, uh, he's a crypto bro. He's got a website called Polymarket. Don't trust it. Hello, human. It is me, Kanooch. I need you to press the subscribe button. I have to feed my many AI babies. You shouldn't trust it because it's a betting site. So the more people bet on a candidate on that website, the higher their number goes up and the more likely it seems that that person's going to win, which means that one big whale could dump a lot of money on there and then that would drive the number up. That's not how odds work. That's not how polls work. That's not how any of this stuff works. If more people buy into the lottery, that doesn't mean you're more likely to win the lottery. It doesn't make any sense. It's not, it is, there's something, they're missing something here. And so what I think they're missing would be reality and evidence and poll numbers and people paying attention and people on the ground asking the voters who they're going to vote for. They're not, they don't need any of that. They just need who puts the most money on the things. So let's take a look at him. Um, that's Peter Thiel. He's awful. Uh, less than a month out from 2024 presidential election, polls are tight in the race between Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump. But over on the prediction markets, the gap between Harris and Trump widened recently. On Poly Market, that don't trust them, a crypto-fueled offshore marketplace that offers bets on the presidential election, Trump has jammed out to a huge lead. Another market, Predict It, is favoring Trump as well, but by a narrower margin. They had fewer people, I suspect, uh, throw money at it. Trump's massive lead on Poly Market has... Some convinced that the site isn't running a crypto betting pool, but rather an election influence operation, setting the stage for Trump to take office regardless of the results in November. Exactly. This could be a scam that they're setting up as proof in giant qu quotation marks. I might need more than I might need more than two. I might need three or like four. The quotation marks have quotation marks proof with four quotation marks that this is that the, the Dem stole it. Uh, for Kamala, and they cheated. That's nonsense. Uh, the market there shows a 55% chance that he will win and a 44 chance for Harris. Uh, each candidate's gamblers can buy yes or no votes based on who they think will win or lose. So you buy votes on the site. That's a poll of the site. The users at this site, 55% think he's going to win. But that doesn't mean you can buy lots and lots and lots of those votes. You can buy thousands of those votes if you want to. That doesn't, that doesn't make mean that he's going to win. That doesn't mean that most people are going to vote for him. Uh, some liberals are pushing back, saying Polymarket as proof of shifting voter sentiment, pointing it to the fact that it was funded by a key Trump booster. Yeah, in the, exactly. In the run-up to the U.S. election, the only opinion poll giving Trump a clear lead is unregulated crypto bullshit bets funded by Peter Thiel. Uh, the wankers pushing this anti-democratic shit should be in jail. Every major recent poll has Harris slightly ahead. So... What this guy, get a grip, uh, Doc Rush Jackson, well, he seems like a cool guy, um, properly used the word wankers. Uh, <laughs> what he's suggesting there, I think is exactly what's going on. These people are betting on Trump to win because they want him to, and because they want him to, they think that he will. It's circular logic, man. Uh, in May, Polymarket announced it raised $70 million in two recent rounds of investment with a big boost coming from the Founders Fund, a venture capital outfit led by Trump 2016 backer to Peter Thiel. So, yeah, Peter Thiel, horrible person. 
backs Donald Trump so that he will make more money. If Peter Thiel could make more money by lying to you about this graph right here, he will. If Peter Thiel could make more money flipping the red and the blue on this thing, he will. He doesn't care. He doesn't, it doesn't matter to him who wins. If, if Trump wins, he gets a bunch of tax cuts. If Kamala wins, he wins the betting pool or something like that. And all you goobers gave him money for nothing. It, it's insane. Peter Thiel has been a crucial funder of Trump's vice presidential pick, J.D. Vance. He did pay the most anybody's ever paid for a, in a Senate race. Um, Thiel donated $15 million to Vance's successful Senate race in Ohio. Yeah, he's dumping millions to get J.D. Vance in, in, in office so that tech bro, uh, crypto bros, who want to sell you monkeys, uh, or JPEGs of monkeys, can have their regulations avoided. What Vance does not want is crypto and the JPEG monkeys or his betting schemes to be regulated by the government. He doesn't want any of that. Do not want any of that because he needs to make money from stupids. And you make less money from stupids if the government tells you you can't make money from stupids. You see, there are rules, regulations involved with the selling of uh, monkey JPEGs Then he would have to follow those rules and he would make less money. So he wants to get rid of all the regulation. That's why they hate regulation, so they can fleece people. If you ever hear a Republican talk about getting rid of regulation, it's so they can fleece somebody. I don't know. It depends on who. If it's an environmental regulation, they just want to not pay to have to clean the, the environment after they ruin it. If it's a banking regulation, it's because they want to steal more from their customers or from their competitors. If it's a... Um, Wall Street regulation, it's because they want to do more gambling. If it's a crypto regulation, it's because they want to steal more money from stupids who think that tech bros are cool. Anytime they want to get rid of a regulation, it's so that they can steal from someone. I don't want you to be the one they steal from, you know? What else we got here? Uh, others say that even if the strategy doesn't result in a Trump victory, it could lead the seeds for a narrative that the election was rigged against Trump. This is exactly the next problem. If he wins, that's good for him. If he if Trump loses, then this guy gets to say that this is proof that the election was rigged. No, it's not. Your prediction simply failed. But stupid people don't know how percentages work. Stupid people don't comprehend how odds work. So they think that somebody having a 60% chance of winning means that they will win. It's not how that works, man. I, and I don't understand it either. I'm not saying I'm an expert on statistics. I'm no expert on statistics. No, not at all. You think that, that all the... Uh, the money they're stealing from us, they'd be happy, but they're not. They need more. They need more. Peter Thiel needs more money. He's already a billionaire, but he needs more, and you're going to give it to him. So, yeah, that's that's what his scam is at the moment. Connect not GOP Russian ba link backer Peter Thiel funded Polymarket, which is banned in the U.S., and hired Nate Silver ahead of the election to create an alternate narrative about election being widely favored for Trump. This narrative would then be picked up by right wing. Yeah, exactly. Referring to the 538 founder, Nate Silver. Nate Silver's on board. Jenk is on board. Jenk uh, Uger. Jenk Uyghur. Jenk Uyghur. Yeah, Uyghurs are Chinese Muslims. Jenk Uyghur is on is being paid by Polymarket. He is using their numbers and he is very unhappy with the numbers that he is seeing right now because he's using Polymarket's numbers. And Polymarket says Donald Trump's way in the lead. And so he goes on to the live streams. He goes and he looks into the camera. Very progressive, very left-wing guy. But he's got bills to pay, man. Uh, I think he could be fine if he would just be a damn live streamer. But he needs to have a studio. And he wants to be impressive and, and amazing. And a news... Uh, what's the word? Conglomerate or something like that. And then they want to pay reporters. And I dig that. Investigative journalism is expensive. I can't do it. And all I get to do, all I get to do is look at shit online. I can't be an investigative journalist. I can't bankroll five or six investigative journalists. That's expensive shit. We used to do that. And we'll talk about that in my ranch tonight, but we don't do that no more because it's expensive. You don't need investigative journalists when you can just go on Twitter. There's problems with that too. Cause guess what? Half the people on Twitter are fucking Nazis. So the, the, we have issues. Uh, they're obviously never played Final Fantasy Tactics. Exactly. They've never played Final Fantasy Tactics. They've never uh, gotten that uh, that archer into exactly the right place, clicked on the button, and looked at 80% chance to hit, and then missed. Damn. Ass. 
that I hate it when that happens, but it does happen. It doesn't make it impossible. Oh, I got an 80% chance to hit. I guess I'll never miss. No, man. <laughs> You'll miss 20% of the time. Not uh, RPG players. Yeah, exactly. Pressing the thumbs up button will release chemicals in your human brain that will make you feel. Uh, so, let's see what else we got. Peter Thiel, don't trust him. Nate Silver, who really, really owes us all an apology. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think he gave uh, Trump much lower odds than he should have. And he owes us an apology back in 2016 when Trump won against Hillary. Um, let's see. Silver has also been a left-wing boogeyman over the years. It sparked ire earlier this summer when he released his new election model predicting Trump would win. That's why That's why you can't trust him. He's picked up by this right-wing grifter, and then he gives a bunch of grift. <laughs> I'm not saying it's impossible for Trump to win, and I'm not saying it's not going to be close. What I'm saying is you can't trust these people. You can't trust Nate Silver. You can't trust Peter Thiel. You can't trust a crypto betting site. Madness. Nonsense. Don't trust them. Uh, here's Tim Onion. Very cool guy. Uh, the right talks a lot about Trump's lead in betting market, but they're referencing the new Thiel-backed poly market, where any whale with cryptocurrency can spend millions to anonymously sway odds. It's an influence campaign. The OG predicted uses cash and has market caps to have it at a coin flip. And still, but this is predicted is also still just a betting site. So if you go there and give them some of your crypto, like you can buy a, a vote here for 54 cents. I don't know. How do you make money on this? How would a human being make money on this? I don't think they can. This seems a lot like slot machines to me. It really does. Sunk cost fallacy kind of thing. I have to keep betting for Trump or else I'll lose all my money. I have to keep putting my money into this uh, slot machine or else I'll be a loser. And then you run out of money. <laughs> and then you're like, man, the next spin is just going to get me a win. The house always wins. And in this case, the house is crypto bro Peter Thiel. And he will just take your money. But then we've got idiots like Steven Crowder who look at this number, this is the uh, poly market number right here of 60% to 39. And then he's like, dur, dur, her, dur, it must be Trump winning, blur. I'm so smart, I'm Steven Crowder, and I see the number, that number bigger, so that number better. And then he says, at this point, I mean, hang on, let me do his voice. At this point, it almost seemed fishy. No one has seen a lead like this in recent history. It's not a good impression, but I really do think that his brain is mush. So I'm, that's what I'm trying to imply here. We're going to have the dumbest rationale for the coup if, if she wins. So what's going to happen, I think? She's going to win. Narrowly. Steven Crowder, her, der, I'm a dork. I'm dumb as hell. Is going to see point back to this number and say, well, that's impossible. He had the bigger number. He had the biggest number. How he lose. He, have, he had bigger number. How he lose. Clearly she cheat. That's what they're going to say. It's going to be terrible. Uh, they're going to have, they're going to show us these polls, these uh, poly market nonsense, which aren't related to reality. If you had a million dollars to blow right now, I wouldn't suggest doing this, but you could take that million dollars, turn it into some sort of cryptocurrency, give it to Peter Thiel to make this number go up. And Peter Thiel will just make this number go up because you gave him all your crypto that he's going to turn into cash. He's going to turn into real money. You just gave him money and you can make the number go up, but that doesn't make it true. That doesn't make it. That might make you feel better. But it doesn't make it true because we count votes, not poly market numbers, not the amount of crypto that any one specific group of people gave. <sighs> but they don't know any of that. They don't know any of that. Uh, how could I have lost? I spent all this money. The election was rigged. Exactly. If someone has one million dollars to burn, I'll burn it for you. Yeah, exactly. There are better things to do with your million dollars than buying a, million, than buying a quarter of a Bitcoin and then giving it to Peter Thiel to make that number go up. It doesn't make it more correct. It doesn't make it more true. It doesn't make it more likely for him to win. It just makes this number on the website go up. That's it. You're now out of coin. You have lost some value. It's fake value, but it's value. You, you All crypto is a scam, but you paid into it with money and they gave you scam money. And then you use that scam money to gave that scam money to Peter Thiel, who's going to wait until the 
the hang on to that scam money until the price of that scam money goes up and then he's going to sell it and you're going to be left with nothing. Anyway, uh, what the hell was I going on about? This is what we're going to hear if she wins. If she wins, and there's a chance of that happening, I seriously still think it's going to happen. If she wins, this is the argument they're going to give us. We, I am telling you, the Republican argument ahead of time, Polly Market had her up. All these uh, pollsters had her up. Look at all the polls. Look at all the polls. They clearly cheated in the in the last minutes. They cheated at the thing. They own the, the poll watchers, something along those lines. They will tell you all of these things. We already know they're going to say it. The, the smartest among us will be, per, I'm, I'm pre-debunking their, their election uh, nonsense. And you can too, if you just follow along and uh, watch Waldo streams. Uh, <laughs> click the like button. Click the subscribe. I am the algorithm click on this video to make me happy you wouldn't like me when I am angry.